I'm going to marry you, you know. Oh, really? We're going to have lots of children. Great, we'll have a huge party. Yes, <laughs> be there on the 32nd of May. Okay. All right, half past half. All right, take All care right. now. Bye bye then. Bye. What the f was that? I'm so Still. creeped out right now. Bad days, there's a lot of bad days. First for first success. So I learned a new language when I got here, and that was a little bit of that. It's first full day in Amsterdam. We're staying at the Bulldog, classy establishment. They sell weed just down the block. They actually sell weed pretty much everywhere. Yeah, they sell weed everywhere, and everywhere smells like weed. On today's agenda, we're gonna go check out the. I'll figure about. Go down on a. Yeah, so that's uh, what's on today's agenda. Should be a fun day. We'll try and be safe out here. Keep our head on a swivel. Watch our sixes. Check your corners. In Amsterdam, they have these pissers just out in the middle of the street. It's, it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Yeah, there's a guy in there, so it's kind of weird, but. It's weird out here, man. So we have a special guest of the vlog. We're at Upstairs Pancakes, and it's, I don't, this is not safe. Mike, how do you feel up here? Confined. This has got to be a health hazard. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the Hawaii, which is a delicious bananas, pineapple, chocolate sauce with a uh, coconut and cream. With an espresso. I think I'm gonna get the Italy. Which is just uh, some fresh fruit and cream. Also, also I'm gonna get try to get some bacon because for obvious for obvious reasons. Yeah. Right. What are you getting? Uh, a hot pancake. Yeah, what are you getting? The Hawaii. I'm getting the special bacon brie and honey. What was your review of that place, Corey? Dude, delicious. That's like some of the best pancakes yeah. we've ever had. Before. It was great. It was very good. Uh, I highly recommend it. It was properly named, too. Don't fall. I made it. Good job. Hey, bro. Yo, we out shit. I'm trying to get up. This is upstairs pancakes, you know what I'm saying? It's a fresh tour up here. Get you some strawberries, get you some cream, fall down the stairs and shit. Get that upstairs, get that upstairs. Yeah, check out my balls. So we figured it's a good idea to go rent some bikes, burn off these pancakes. Dropping the camera off so we can go ride bikes. I do have these. So, all this next footage, this next little montage, is gonna be all spectacle shots. See you there. So, Ryan and Josh decided to get tandem bikes, tandem bike, and ride together through Amsterdam. Ryan and I wanted to do a tandem bike since Michigan State days. We ride together. We die together. And they're off. Silhouette, dark figure on it. Here we are in Amsterdam. Just get it on these bikes. Josh and Ryan are still using this tandem bike and I have never seen something so funny in my life. You can't pedal when you're doing that. I don't know, whatever you're doing. When you stop, I can't pedal. Gotta stop, it's red light. Holy cow. This is ridiculous.
We look great together, though. There's a lot going on right now. <laughs> There's a lot going on. If you want to say anything before we die, go ahead. Uh, oh, that was close. Ryan and I uh, probably shouldn't have tandem bike through the city. Definitely almost died. Came very close. Next on the agenda, we're gonna go get some food, but all of our clothes are wrinkly right now. So I got a little pro tip to show you guys. If you're traveling and you don't have any ironing board or anything, you just turn the water on really hot, make it really steamy, and hang your clothes up. Woo! It's a little pro tip for you. It's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. That's a pro tip. I'm just saying a little prayer in my head right now. For who? People of Amsterdam. Why is that? Because I'm about to unleash the beast. The dragon's coming out tonight. You're making me uncomfortable. She's freaking me out. You're recording? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two hours later. Early the next morning. Bye, Bulldog. You treated us well. I'm too tired to vlog right now, though, so I'll see you at City Hub. Bye. Um, Schwizzle sticks. <laughs> My, so Mike's working on being the best ad lib artist in the game. He doesn't want to rap. He doesn't want to sing. He just wants to do ad libs. Uh, you know, like Big Sean's boy. Boy, 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 boy. He's got he's got something in the works. All right, give me a, give me a couple, Mike. <laughs> Swizzle stick. Squishy, squishy. Squishy, squishy. Squishy, squishy. Swizzle stick. What the wing? <laughs> <laughs> so, hire my man if you need some ad libs. I'm gonna go check out this Van Gogh museum. Look at art, get culture a little bit. Jasmine, what's your favorite Van Gogh piece of art? Rainbows, drop top. Nighttime sky. Starry night. Starry That's night. What it was called. That's what I was going for. I couldn't remember. What's your favorite Van Gogh piece of art? Stone dies. I like the part where he cuts off his penis. Penis? His ear. His I like the part where he cuts penis. off his ear. Left penis. Left penis? Left penis? Yeah. Wait, you have two penises? I don't either. Well, he, now he has one, though. Oh, now he has one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in te gaan voeren, waar ik wel een sterk voorstander ben, is om hem één keer dat hele milieubeleid om aan te pakken. Het is even een We're gonna go watch some dude cut his ear off or something apparently. Uh, they Europe does weird art. Yeah, they have uh, impersonators come in. Yeah, they just do the show once a day because it's so brutal. You never loved a girl that much, you'd want to cut your ear off? I've never loved a woman in my life. Oh my god. Welcome to Speed Round Part 2. Jasmine, what's your favorite brand of shoes? Um, Mike, what's your favorite kind of ice cream? Cookie dough. Okay. Corey, what's your favorite kind of chips? Salt vinegar. Uh -huh. Ryan, what's your favorite Drake song? Drake song? Tuscan leather. Jasmine, what's your favorite Drake song? Um, zero to 100. Mike, what's your favorite lawnmower? <laughs> you, threw the, you totally threw me off the bat. What's your favorite position to pet Teddy in? Oh, tummy time. <laughs> <laughs> your favorite carnival experience that you've ever had? Uh, this one time, this girl gave me a over the pants HJ in the zipper. And congratulations, you all win for being great participants. Very beautiful piece. Really tells me something about this. I'm assuming he's a farmer. It's got me really intrigued. It's beautiful. Brian, what was your favorite painting? The one with the colors. Jasmine, what was your favorite painting? The one with the skull and the cigarette in its mouth. I liked sunflowers. I liked White Orchard. 
My real favorite was Autumn Blossom. <laughs> Check it. I'll show that painting right now. Boom! What do you think? Does Ryan's opinion matter? Boom. Think he nailed it? Vote now today. Vote now. <laughs> So our last two nights we're staying in this place called City Hub. It's like this futuristic pod. Uh, <laughs> your room is your bed, but it's a lot doper than it sounds. Here, I'm gonna, I'll just show you. Some lights you can change. Spacious, perfect for one. I don't know how much the cord can be too. Yeah, it's gonna suck. Easy as that. It's all self-service. All you gotta do is scan your badge and grab a drink. Pretty awesome. Yeah, buddy. So at this point, you know Mike and Corey share a room, and Ryan said they live in a box of farts. <laughs> That's not true. I think you've been very. Uh, this is our no, room. Farts. <laughs> Every time I fart, I excuse myself. <laughs> so it's the final night in Amsterdam. What did we learn, boys? That. Yeah, they're. That was I good. I agree. They're. Uh... Right. Boom! You know, 1994 is also the year that, that Biggie Smalls dropped his seminal album, Ready to Die, with the smash hit, Juicy. Age old story of, of coming from a place where you have next to nothing and getting to a place that, that you one day dreamed of arriving at and sharing that with the people that you care about. And that's what this stupid, meaningless, bro ski trip was all about. Lunches, brunches, interviews by the fool Considered a fool cause I dropped out of high school